Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So I've had a couple questions about whether the Neo2 can track you in a vehicle. And indeed, yes it can. Now it's important to note that it can only track you when connected to a standard controller. When using it autonomously or flying it with your smartphone, it's not really designed to follow objects, mainly just people. So if you do want to follow yourself in a vehicle or in a car, you do have to connect it to a standard controller. So that's what I'm going to be demonstrating in today's video. I'm going to be using the RC2, but this will work with the RCN3 as well. Essentially, when we're flying with a controller, we have full access to focus track, which is active track, point of interest, and spotlight. So we're able to lock onto vehicles or objects and use active track. So I'm going to put the drone up here and I'll just demonstrate that quickly. So we are going to position the drone here. Now it is a little breezy out today and it's quite chilly. So I don't know how that's going to affect things. But uh, there's my car. So now essentially all I have to do is draw a box around it. And just like that, we are now using focus track. So we can use a lot of the other tools that are built in like point of interest. We can have it just do a circle around us. But what we're going to be doing is active track. After subject starts moving, aircraft will fly to set direction. So there we go. We are now tracking. So now we can just drive. And the drone will follow us. Now, just keep in mind while using active track, you do have obstacle avoidance, but it can't determine or it can't pick up small branches and wires, different obstacles like that. So you do have to be careful and it can only track you at a max speed of 18 meters per second. So for some people that might be a little bit limiting, but as you can see, it does a really good job. I'm traveling right now at about 30, 35 kilometers per hour and it's able to uh, keep up with no issue. Now we could reposition it to different uh, sides, but um, I'm just going to leave it where it is just because I do have a lot of trees and stuff coming up here. And this road I picked, I figured there wouldn't be a lot of traffic, but there's somebody up there, so I may have to stop here. There's also no winter maintenance, so hopefully the snow doesn't get too deep. So yeah, as you can see, it's quite capable of following a vehicle. Now that was just a basic test, just following us from behind, but you can get a little bit creative with it. You can have it do some, uh, some movements and uh, follow from different directions. And again, you can use Spotlight and that will stay locked on to the car as well while you fly the drone. You can get some really interesting shots that way as well. So yeah, folks, just a quick video demonstrating active track with the DJI Neo 2. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one.